Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to another Marvel Strike Force video with me, Boylon. Today we're going to be talking about Cosmic Crucible and how you can get prepared for that, which is really just around the corner on Tuesday, I think, of next week. So what we're going to be doing in today's video, we're going to be going over a brief overview of the game mode but we're also going to be discussing some of the new aspects that's coming uh we got some data mines about um some changes since the play test a little bit anyways as far as the rooms go and then we're going to be going over my teams for cosmic crucible yes if you somehow match against me you might get a heads up knowing what i'm going to be using both on cosmic defense and cosmic offense uh with my uh you know why my reasonings behind all of this so uh without further ado <laughs> Let's get this show started. And uh, yes, this is being streamed on Twitch, but if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, then of course uh, you can comment along down below. And if you're on Twitch, then you can feel free to chat along. Uh, so I want to start here. This was a previous blog post from the Road Ahead blog. Um, I know that when this gets released that there is going to be a blog post tomorrow probably outlining probably just regurgitating a lot of this um if there's for whatever reason going to be like some major update that like i don't know isn't in this video that i somehow missed um i will do my best to do an update to that but i don't think that they're going to be changing too much based on what we know so far uh so hopefully that stays the same so we're getting cosmic crucible this is this this is the cosmic crucible arena which by the way i actually came across this in my rta match so it is live in the game right now i don't know if you've come across that it's kind of interesting um so how this is going to work it's in a nutshell solo war at, at at the base bones it's kind of like solo war um you're grouped into an eight person bracket at the start based on your matchmaking rating which is going to be uh, it's after 60 seconds right it's gonna fucking suck uh the match <laughs> the matchmaking is probably gonna fucking suck uh for the first few months is probably what i'm gonna assume because they're gonna need to really just figure out um you know the best way to match you up with other players and i don't have a large amount of confidence that this is going to go over well you might get some really unfair matches which really won't surprise me to be honest uh it's a swiss style tournament if you don't know what that is is, well uh basically you're gonna you're gonna start with match one and then with one of the players from the eight and then you're gonna win or lose and then if you win you go up if they lose they go down and it, it's actually highly possible that at the end of the there's three matches that you could actually face the same person twice i think i remember from my play test maybe something weird happened that i actually faced the same person twice uh but hopefully that doesn't happen too often you're going to have six defense teams. We're going to talk about that when we get to my teams. And then basically as many offense teams um, up to 18. You can attack three times per each of the room. So that's hypothetically up to 18 attacks. But it's unlikely that you're going to be using that many. And I haven't really budgeted for that many either. Uh, but that's just a hypothetical scenario. Uh, you'll be grouped into seasons. Uh, and then over time that's going to change. There's different rankings. We're going to look at that when we get to the, the data mines. And there's going to be a rating system. And we know, uh, you know, in game now we have the Cosmic Crucible store. Uh, which you're also going to get Crucible credits and Elite Crucible credits to buy those Teal Gear orbs. Uh, and you earn victory. It's just like war, right? You're going to get a certain amount of crucible credits for uh, clearing out a room. And then for clearing all six rooms, you'll get crucible credits. And at the very end, you'll get rewards. Um, what's going to really happen with the, the how to break ties, things like that, that we're going to look at that in the data mines. And it comes down to the efficiency. A lot of that's going to be the efficiency bar, uh, points. I was going to say bar, but it's not. Um, and so every time that your characters take a turn... Uh, you're going to be losing points for that. So the teams that we're going to be looking at later on in this video are going to be teams for offense anyways that are typically uh, going to be high-powered burst damage teams that are going to kill quickly. Uh, there's going to be room rules. Maybe we'll just jump ahead to that anyways. So yeah, obviously a lot of this is like war. You can consider it like war as far as rewards go, as far as um, you know what's required. The great thing about Cosmic Crucible, I will say, is that you're not really timed is that you're going to have 24 hours to get the match done uh but you can do it at your leisure whether you do it at the beginning whether you do it at the end 
doesn't really matter. You know, as long as you get your attacks in, then you'll get your rewards and you'll get your score and all that, and it's gravy. So, um, a good instance of where you're not required to log in at a certain time, to some degree, for more competitive players in war, you know, that's been a bit controversial in terms of like when you need to log into play. So that's just that. Um, I, I, you, can, you can read this blog post if you need to know more. I want to now bring you attention to the data mines. Uh, and so we're going to zoom in a little bit more here. And so we have these kind of leagues. Bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, and master. Now, I, I, I'm not sure where everyone's going to land. And maybe we'll find out more about that on uh, Friday. Uh, in the blog post. Uh, from what I remember in Alliance War, like, we started at Silver, I think, for my Alliance, like, when Alliance War first started. I, my guess is you're not... That's probably where a lot of people are going to land. Like, somewhere into here. And that's what I remember about when Alliance War launched, was that you were basically thrown into one of these three leagues, and then you had to work your way up. Um, I don't think War has a Master League. I think it just casts out a diamond right you know so i'm assuming it's going to be somewhere around here that you're going to start at the lower the tcp maybe it'll be bronze a higher tcp people will start at gold and that's probably how it's going to work um what's really important not the scourge stuff but this so the way that the cosmic crucible rooms are going to work uh, has changed a little bit so we have two rooms that just does nothing there is no rules so you know you could put anyone there i guess it doesn't really matter um but when you look at the other rooms it's going to be really important that you pay attention to who you're putting where because the room rules are going to matter for both teams both the defense and the offense teams both of them so whoever you're putting on the defense in that room make sure it doesn't negatively impact them and as we go through the team uh, the the room rules here you know i'll kind of try and you know point out where this might be a problem uh defense reversal this is room number three i don't know i guess they call it stage three but on all characters turns flip defense up deflect and evade on that character's allies Okay, so this is a problem for if you have buffs, but where this is not as much of a problem is, say, Infinity Watch. That's just off the top of my head. Um, if you have Safeguard, that's going to prevent you from getting flipped. So at least on the first uh, turn or, or whatever, right, that's not going to happen. Um, where this does become a problem is if you don't have Safeguard <laughs> and you rely on buffs. Um, and so I would not be putting Young Avengers here, right? Don't put your Young Avengers on defense in here because they have defense up on spawn. They also have evades, and they actually have a shit ton of deflects. So don't stick your war, don't stick your young Avengers in the end room three. That's probably going to be pretty disastrous. And offensively, don't use any teams that also rely on buffs. So again, don't use young Avengers in the offense in room three because this is going to be a problem. And you know, I don't know every off the top of my head every single team, but you very you know pay attention to this because it's going to be very important. <clears throat> Stage four, slow down or room four on all characters turns if that character has speed up clear all positive effects and apply two turns of slow and trauma to that character now this was in the playtest I, I remember this very clearly and so characters that have speed up uh is not good and i guess off the top of my head i'm thinking of symbiote scream you know giving that speed up that's not good because then you're gonna get slow and trauma um speed um nick fury maybe on who maybe does it on a special like offensively web warriors you know maybe my, my chat can help me out here can't think of too many off the top of my head on demand uh but yeah <laughs> thanks goofy hey what's going on you know but i i i can't quite remember or or maybe the new Wakandas. Yeah, actually, that's a good example. Uh, so Wakandas with Shuri, right? Spawn speed up. That's going to be really important. So make sure you don't put them there, you know. And so just really pay attention to this, both offense and defense. It's both sides. So make sure you pay attention to that. Now, room five, Cosmic Catastrophe. This is a new one. I don't remember this from the playtest. So this is kind of interesting. All characters who passively revive return with one health and on all characters turns reduce speed bar by 50 percent for that character's cosmic allies so no cosmic characters no cosmic characters no um no infinity watch absolutely <laughs> no black order uh parts of dark hold you know like this is not good uh so make sure you're not using cosmic either on the offense or the defense in this room which is really interesting right so what you could do is you could hypothetically put a team in here 
um, that on the defense that's not cosmic, but but requires counters of cosmic characters. And so, and, and actually, sorry, Eternals are also cosmic. Don't use them there either. And and so what I'm thinking is I'm kind of I'm borderline thinking of like Young Avengers, like sticking Young Avengers here. Um, but I know that Chavez is cosmic. Um, and so, I, you know, that's a small issue, but I'm thinking of like all the potential counters for Young Avengers. A lot of them are kind of cosmic. Eternals, uh, Infinity Watch, maybe. No, I don't know the counter. I don't know. It, it, you know, but my, so maybe Young Avengers without Chavez. That was what I was thinking. And so that could be really interesting. Whether or not I do that, I don't know. Uh, I'll have to think about that more. Um, but yeah, very interesting rule set here that was not in the playtest that I think is going to make you think. This one's definitely going to make you think. Um, time, the stage number six. Uh, this was also in the playtest. So I kind of remember this very well. Time dampening. All speed bar increase and decreases have no effect. So this is anyone that gives plus turn bar. This is also anyone that gives minus turn bar. So Eternals, uh, their ultimate is not going to do any turn bar, minus turn bar. Um, Cap Sam, no plus turn bar. Um, uh, symbiotes with Carnage, no turn bar, you know, etc. So that's not going to be a thing. So make sure you pay attention, like I said, both on defense and offense, that... This is going to take some like higher level thinking and maybe I will post an update with specifically about the rooms and who I plan to use in those rooms. That's not part of today's video. I'm just kind of doing an overview of these and then maybe I'll do an update in terms of, um, you know, who you should consider and not consider for each of the rooms. I'm just kind of brainstorming like on demand right now, which, you know, I think I need a little bit more time to think about it, but it's quite interesting. Nonetheless, um, there is this as well, this defender's advantage. All of the rooms get this specifically for defending characters. So plus 20%, think of it like, I don't know, like med bay and, and kind of stuff. This is just always active. So defending characters get 20% health and 10% damage. Cosmic, and so yeah, this is all the same. You get three attempts per stage. I mentioned that earlier on. And uh, unlocks for players level 60. You get Crucible credits and Elite Crucible credits. And that's pretty much it. I, I'm pretty sure that, you know, all, there's some rules here. This is probably going to get regurgitated in a mail, I, I would assume, in game. That's the whole point of the data mines. And I'm not, uh, what we do want to look at is here. So I think this is a typo. I think maybe 7,500 points, victory points for a full clear. Um, the reason why I think this may or may not be a typo is just because of how much you're getting um, for the others. So it says here that you're getting five points for a knockout, which means that you're actually getting 25 points for five knockouts for the team. That seems significantly low compared to the 75. 500. So I'm thinking this might be a zero typo and it's actually 750 because that would make a lot more sense. Now the attempt bonus up to 800 points. This means if you one shot the team, if you one shot the room, um, that you're going to get 800. If you one shot, you get 800 plus the 750 uh, and then all this other stuff here. Um, but you're going to lose points or not get as much if you have to attempt more. So if you take two attempts, if you take three attempts, um, then you're not gonna get as many victory points from this category. I think this I, I think this is a typo uh, because it just does, all these other points are just super minuscule in that regard. Knockouts five, so you're gonna get up to 25 here. Healthy characters up to 20. So this is based on your characters, your offensive characters, and how much health they have when you end the match. So the higher health that you end the match with, the more points that you're going to get here. The turn bonus is up to 30. It starts at 30, and then it goes backwards. So for every turn that you take, uh, you're going to be losing one point. You could actually go into the negatives from what I remember uh, from the playtest. I think that's the case. I don't think it just goes down to zero. I think that you could actually keep... If, if, you're, if your match takes really long time i think it can go down further uh but that's just from what i remember there so both the healthy characters and the turn bonus is meant to uh affect the tiebreakers essentially um uh, we'll we'll see whether or not this is a typo or not the 7500 just seems really effing big it could be 750 could be 7500 we'll find out otherwise these are not going to make much of a difference or maybe it will just make enough difference to break those ties and that's it we'll find out um i'm not sure about that part i just want to kind of share this with you uh it because it doesn't make any other mention to that 7500 points here a uh, maximum of 25 points for a breakdown attempt bonus 800 um so for you get 400 if it takes two attempts zero if you get uh if it takes three so that's good to know so basically if you one shot you get 800 
if you two shot it, you get 400. And if you three shot it, you get zero uh, extra points there. Uh, for each non summon character, yeah. So healthy characters, one VP for every 25% of their health remaining. So again, meant to be a turn bar, um, sorry, a tiebreaker kind of thing. And then turn bonus starts at 30 VP and is reduced by one for every turn your characters take. I think this covers summons, but you know, don't quote me 100% here. Um, I bel I never use multiple man in the uh, playtest, but I, I I think summons do. But if someone wants to correct me in the comments down below, uh, who may have been in the playtest or heard from someone in the playtest, feel free to let me know on that. I realize that's going to be a small subset of people. Uh, so that was just that. <laughs> Secondly, what I want to do here is that I want to talk about my teams that I'm using for Cosmic Crucible. So this is going to be the second half of the video. Actually, I don't know how long this video is so far. Uh, but I have basically, during my live stream, I went and I uh, created my characters and my tabs, my teams and my tabs. And these are the 14 teams that I am using in Cosmic Crucible. Uh, six for defense and eight for offense. And we're going to go through each of them and I'm going to tell you exactly why that's the case. Now, starting things off. You guys know I love Young Avengers, so this is going to be my first defense team. Now, again, I don't know which rooms I'm going to be putting them in yet. I think that'll be an update video for the weekend that I'll talk about there after I've had some more time to think about it. Uh, but team one for the defense is Young Avengers. And the reason for this is uh, going to be the same reason for Infinity Watch as well, which is because they take a long time to kill. And they, you know, especially my Young Avengers, uh, it's going to take a long time to kill them, which means it's going to uh, slow people down. It's going to screw around with the turn bar efficiency, uh, the, the points, things like that. And if I somehow win a match, even even better right you know and that's the that's the best of both worlds but i it, I'm, they're mainly there to stall and i think that's going to make the biggest difference i, I also want to make sure that i have some really good offense teams um that are going to kill quickly and we're going to get into that so young avengers uh first team for the defense infinity watch second on the defense uh for kind of very similar reasons actually and but what's really important when you decide whether or not you're going to be using Infinity Watch on the defense, or even Young Avengers maybe, uh, make sure that you have teams that can counter what they can counter on the offense. So this is going to be very roster dependent, and what I do is not going to work for everyone. Just keep that in mind, you know, depending on what you have. My third defense team now, this one is a bit of a weird one, because I've used the Astonishing X-Men in the playtest, and I found that they were not particularly great on the offense, because they were slow to kill. I don't know if they were as slow as, like, Symbiotes, but they just mm, were not great in that. They're good for the healthy, the healthy bonus thing, but as far as turns, they are not super fast to kill. So I've decided to use this weird um, Astonishing X-Men. I dumped Kitty because I just really don't think that she really does enough outside of raids. And I decided to put Phoenix in behind Bishop. And this might force people into using Kestrel, perhaps. I don't know. Uh, this is just something that I decided to do. And I, and I want to point out that all of my care, all of my teams here in this Crucible tab represents the best of my roster. Basically, they're all going to be 700k plus teams because you're trying to slim or trim down the fat from Alliance War. There's going to be less overall defenses and attacks than there will be for um, War. So you want to trim down to the best of the best in your roster. And that's what this represents for me. Um, defense team number four. This one's kind of like a bit of a hybrid soup. Um, so the idea here is Doom. Uh, but I, I stuck it with Red Guardian uh, for the Spawn Taunt. And then I have Silver Surfer and Invisible Woman. So this gives like additional synergy here. They have that like kind of cosmic synergy going on. And if Silver uh, Silver Surfer goes up against any uh, villain cosmic, then there's some additional stuff there. Doc Ock's there for like just a little bit of support. Uh, he also blocks any incoming offense down as well. And, and who knows? I just had nowhere to really put him. So I decided to kind of shove him here and see what happens, right? So that's team number four. Uh, team number five is going to be Web Warriors. So the reason for this, and I'm sure you guys are not surprised, AI dodging mechanics. I just feel like because their dodge is so high that this is going to be very high in when the AI controls them, tinfoil hat. Um, I think this is going to be better than the offense, frankly, and it's just there to stall and try to hope that they dodge enough times that that just like removes enough of the victory points that puts me ahead. That's basically it. Nothing fancy. I just, I, I think that they're probably going to work better on the defense. Finally, 
we have Wakandans, the Apex Meta Cosmic Crucible team. Now, I did spend a little bit of gear in getting them to gear 12. I'm not going hardcore into Wakandans at this time. This is not a Wakandan video. My idea and goal behind this is to use it as a bait team. Uh, maybe people will underestimate this. Maybe they'll perform better, you know, even at 470 than what I expect. Uh, but my goal is that maybe people will overestimate the team and, like, take a 700 and 800k meta team to punch down. Uh, and then that's what's gonna happen. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, maybe it might get a win. I don't know. But that's just what my plans are here. I don't know. I don't think I'm probably gonna take them much higher than this just because I have other things that I need to do, including Scourge, you know, which we're not talking about in this video here. Now, that leaves me with the offense. And maybe Shuri will help, I don't know, lead them to victory somehow, being 190k. This leads us to offense, and I have eight offense teams. Darkhold was a team that I considered to put on defense, and for some of you, you might. Um, Darkhold is a team that's going to take a long time to kill, both uh, on defense, and but it's a team that will counter quite a few other teams on offense. So I can see it either or. For me, because I put Infinity Watch on defense, I'm deciding to put uh, Darkhold on offense. I think that for those veterans out there, you would have to really consider teams like Infinity Watch and Darkhold and don't shove both of them on defense because then I feel like you'll um, not have what you need to do uh, on the offense. Uh, Dark Hunters, uh, that's another one that I have here. I don't know how much use I'm necessarily going to get out of this because they're a war offense team and um, I maybe I didn't say it until now, but you don't get your Alliance War bonuses. Uh, you don't get your War Offense bonuses. So that's where they primarily are. Um, I might be able to kill certain teams with them still. Um, maybe, you know, Web Warriors on, on defense, I might be able to kill them still. I, I don't know, depending on the power. And so this might be viable. Uh, but I do want to keep in mind that, yes, they are a War Offense team and they won't get the bonuses. Thirdly, kind of like a mishmash of Eternals here. We have uh, Eternals with Emma Frost, and uh, I can't say that because my dog's lying down right now. <laughs> this guy, you know. So this is basically Eternal speed meta. Um, and this is largely to counter other Eternals, maybe, uh, that's on the defense to make sure that uh, you can go ahead of them and just blast them out of the way, and then that's great. Uh, keep in mind that you can't do things like America Chavez on the defense because, uh, well, that's a war bonus for the turn bar, so you can't do that. I uh, have Baron Zemo here. I may change this team around a little bit, but it's just to basically talk about Eternals. Uh, next, we have Weapon X. I talked about this in a previous video. I don't think that they're going to be a very good defense team because they don't get their war bonuses. That being said, I think they're still going to be a very solid team that are going to counter quite a few things. Omega Red and Lady Deathstrike are very great characters, and so I think that this will still be quite valuable on the Cosmic Crucible offense. Not much more to say about that. I mean, they're a really good team. Um, they've been out for a little while now, so I don't really need to go in too hard about that. Um, after that, we have Secret Avengers with... Uh, Kestrel and Shang-Chi. This is basically my Doom Raid skill team. And the reason, the other thing that you could do is that you could add in Nick Fury here, but my Nick Fury is not very high powered. He's like 80k. And so this is here to be a high burst damage team to really capitalize on uh, the turn bar stuff. Uh, Shang-Chi kicks really effing hard. And so I think this is gonna, this team is probably with, with Cap Sam's alt, I think is probably gonna take down enemies very quickly. Uh, obviously it depends on who I'm going up against, uh, but I think damage-wise is a very high damage team. So this is something that I'm considering for the offense here for the, to capitalize on that. Um, next we have New Warriors, and I've decided to put in Yo-Yo uh, and Black Bolt, and this might vary for some people. And this is just because I didn't really have a lot of options left at this point, so I was like, huh, I have a Black Bolt. And I might be bumping up Yo-Yo a little bit more for Scourge. So I'm going to roll with that. I don't, I don't know how effective it is necessarily, but uh, or whether or not I'll need to use it. But just wanted to throw that out there. Number seven, we have symbiotes. And now this is going to be questionable for some because you heard me mention about the turn bar mechanics and the, and the, the, the points and stuff for efficiency. Um, they're not the fastest to kill, right? You know, but they are going to be there. If it comes down to me having to use them and I can one shot, um, I'm going to use them. Because that means more than the turn bar, right? And just to jump back, you know, to the data mines here, uh, where you get the turn bar bonus, right? It's only up to 30 points. But you get, like, 400 if you can one-shot them. Or you get 800, rather, if you can one-shot a team. So getting an additional 400 points for one-shotting a team is going to be worth more than a turn bonus of 30, right? You know, so if it comes down to the fact that I, I have to use symbiotes or, or using symbiotes will clear that for me then I'll use them. But you do have to keep in mind that uh, it's going to be kind of slow. Uh, Black Order. 
My final team on the list. Not something that I personally recommend for early and mid-game players at this point. They're kind of past the meta. I would not build them, uh, you know, unless they get some sort of weird Wii work, which I doubt. Uh, but Black Order is still going to be a very solid team for veterans who have them. They can take out quite a wide range of teams still. And so I think that I will be able to use them somewhere and get a one-shot. They're very high damage burst, actually, because that's what they're designed to do. When Thanos gets his alt around, it does a lot of damage. So I can expect to probably clear a team with this, I would think. Uh, just don't use it in that weird cosmic room, right? You know, that's going to be a bit of a problem. So these are my eight offense teams here. This is the way I've uh, kind of organized it with my defense up at the top uh if you have any questions regarding any of my teams feel free to leave a comment in it down below and i'll try to get back to you and uh otherwise i think i'm gonna have to sit on this for a little while um i'll probably do an update video maybe on sunday uh, to talk about the specific rooms and what teams to use and don't use in each room basically i'll i'll have each six of the rooms don't use this, or or you use this here, don't use this here, uh, or at least the four extra rooms, sorry. Uh, there's four rule rooms and two that are playing. Uh, but yeah, it'll be really interesting. This starts next week. Uh, let me know what you're up to with Cosmic Crucible or how you're preparing for that in the comments down below. And of course, until next time, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you all later. Well, I'm signing out.